Hello there! Today I thought it would be a good day for a book review, and I really want to discuss this book, Every Day by David Levithan. This book is so different from so many things that you are going to read these days. I found that while there's a lot of stuff going on in this book, I read it so quickly. So basically, in Every Day, we follow this character named A. And every day, A wakes up in a new body. So there's nothing consistent in this person's life. No gender, no race, no religion, no sexuality. The age is usually around the same, and at this point it's 16 years old. And so there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on with this life and this premise and this story, because we see a snippet of A's life, and this is what has been going on the entire time. But what really is different about this time is that when we wake up with A on chapter 1, which is day 5994, A is in the body of this kid named Justin. And when A wakes up, there's sort of a weird thing that goes on where some of the memories are processed, A is able to sort of navigate around someone's life and just get by. One of the things that was like always going through my mind is how would a day where A is in my body go down. But anyway, A meets Justin's girlfriend, Rhiannon. Through the day, A sort of forms this really unique attachment to her that A has not felt really for anyone. And the next day, A wakes up as someone else. A decides to find her, except A is not Justin anymore. So as Rhiannon sort of gets to know A and come to terms with the fact of who A is, which is lots of different people, she realizes that it really is the same person every time. Things happen pretty quickly. Every single day, no matter how much progress or anything that A did in someone else's body the day before, it's gone and A is someone else. One of the most interesting topics of having this story without A having a gender or a race or anything like that is that it really is sort of a love story at times between A and Rhiannon. Gender is very purposefully removed from this character. And doing research and reading about this book, there's a lot of websites that refer to A as he, just because it's easier. I've almost said he just filming this video. It's an interesting discussion point that we are so comfortable just falling into, you know, he or picking one because that's just what we're used to. And something that's really interesting is watching Rhiannon come to terms with this. It's really powerful to witness this love story and connection between them without there being a gender present in A. The truth is throughout the story that A does not have a body, and yet throughout the story you find yourself just feeling bad for this teenage kid. All you have to connect to are A's thoughts and emotions. And I personally just really enjoyed how this book challenged the way we may think about who we are, and how our bodies are really just sacks carrying around us. So the characterization was definitely my favorite part of this one. I really liked how this was such a unique and different concept, but it really just felt like I was reading about someone's life. And this is definitely a book where I want to know what goes on afterwards, but I still have a hard time picturing a sequel. And there is a sequel in the works. Currently there is a companion, and it's called Another Day, which is just all of the days in every day from Rhiannon's perspective. Definitely recommend reading this as well but you do have to read every day first. Overall, I loved reading this book. It challenged the way that I think about main characters and people in general in literature, and it did it in a way that was sort of just mindless. The concept was amazing and executed in a way that I would not have even pictured. If you have a hard time thinking about this concept, I promise you will spend more time in this book thinking about the characters and the themes anyway. This was a book that was always way up there on my TBR, and I'm so glad I finally read it. So thanks for watching, have a good one, and I will see you guys very soon. <sighs> Goodbye!